What happens when a brilliant scientist, on the verge of a major breakthrough, disappears without a trace? In the heart of Huntsville, a city known for its technological prowess, a curious case emerged. A brilliant scientist hailed for his groundbreaking work in the field of anti-gravity vanished into thin air. His name was etched in the annals of scientific history for his significant contributions, his theories challenging the very fabric of our understanding of gravity and its role in the cosmos. The scientific community had been abuzz with his potential breakthroughs, eagerly awaiting the fruition of his research. But then out of nowhere the shocking news of his sudden disappearance spread like wildfire. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the disappearance of this luminary became one of the most intriguing mysteries of our time. The world watched in collective disbelief. The scientific community mourned the loss of a star on the brink of a major revelation. And as the dust settled, one question hung heavily in the air. Where did he go? The disappearance sparked a frenzy of investigations, theories, and speculations. Detectives, fellow scientists, and even armchair detectives threw themselves into the mystery with a fervor matched only by their collective admiration for the vanished genius. The authorities combed through every shred of evidence, from the scientist's cluttered lab to his cryptic notes, searching for any clue that might lead them to his whereabouts. Meanwhile, the scientific community was abuzz with theories. Some suggested the scientist had been abducted, perhaps by rivals eager to gain his knowledge. Others proposed a more self-directed scenario, the scientist, tired of the constant scrutiny and pressure, had chosen to disappear and continue his work in solitude. Yet there were those who leaned towards the more sensational, suggesting everything from government conspiracy to alien abduction. But as the days turned into weeks and then months, each lead seemed to hit a dead end. Each theory, no matter how plausible, failed to bring them any closer to finding the missing scientist. Despite the extensive efforts, the scientist remained missing his work unfinished. But then, out of nowhere, a breakthrough. Just when the trail seemed to have gone cold, a glimmer of hope shone through the dense fog of uncertainty. The key to this unexpected turn of events? None other than the scientist's unfinished work. This work, a labyrinth of complex equations and theories, was a testament to the scientist's brilliance. It was like standing on the edge of a precipice, staring into the vast expanse of the unknown, and daring to leap into the void. This unfinished work was not just about anti-gravity. It was a blueprint, a map that charted the course of unexplored territories in the realm of physics. The scientist was not merely pushing boundaries, he was attempting to redraw them. And within this intricate web of ideas, investigators found a thread to pull. The thread led them to understand the scientist's work, his thought process, his relentless pursuit of the elusive truth, it was as if they were standing shoulder to shoulder with the scientist, looking through his eyes, thinking his thoughts. The breakthrough didn't just bring investigators closer to the truth, it also painted a vivid picture of the scientist's mind, a mind that was not bound by the constraints of traditional thinking, a mind that dared to venture into the uncharted waters of the unknown. This discovery brought a new hope of finding the missing scientist and understanding his mysterious disappearance. The unfinished work was now more than just a collection of theories. It was a beacon, guiding the investigators through the darkness, towards the truth that still lay hidden. The mystery of Huntsville's brilliant scientist was about to unravel. In an astonishing twist of events, the investigation led to a discovery that was as unexpected as it was groundbreaking. It was found that the scientist had not disappeared, but had retreated into seclusion to undertake a project of monumental proportions. This project, as it turns out, had the potential to redefine our understanding of gravity and its applications. The implications of this finding were profound. It didn't just shake the foundations of the scientific community, but also stirred the curiosity of the world at large. The reclusive scientist had been working on a revolutionary anti-gravity technology that could transform transportation, space exploration, and even our day-to-day -day lives. Imagine a world where cars hover off the ground, where spacecrafts can travel the cosmos without the constraints of fuel, where the physical limitations we've accepted as a part of life are suddenly no longer there. It's a world that was once confined to the realms of science fiction, but now it's within the realm of possibilities. But with every revelation comes a new set of questions. 
How did the scientist manage to make such strides in his research without the assistance of a team or the backing of an institution? How far had he progressed in his work? And most importantly, why did he choose to disappear from public view to conduct his research? All these questions add another layer of intrigue to an already fascinating tale. They are the puzzles that are yet to be solved, the pieces that are yet to be fit into the grand jigsaw of this enigmatic scientist's life and work. In the end, the disappearance of Huntsville's brilliant scientist became an enduring mystery that captivated the world.